Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to visit the oldest temple in the Angkor complex. So, on the ways or around of the temple of the Prasad k r o w a n s there are a lot of the monkeys that stay around here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel, Online Tour Adventure. My name is the Lion. So today, I come from the Siem Reap Province, the Kingdom of Cambodia. I came to visit the small temple that is the we call k r a v a n Temple. It's a small temple, but uh, beautiful. You can see that it consists of the five towers. But this temple located at the north east of the Siem Reap is about the six kilometers to here. That we take about the 20 minutes to here. So the temple is not big. It is stood on the a t i v i s o l Island here. That outside of the temple, and that we call moat. But right now it doesn't have water. Most of water can it dry up. Just only in rainy season the water around the part of here, in the moat here. But now you can see the five towers. The still good condition. That except the middle tower that we call the central towers, they're still standing with a good condition. h i d e r one, and before they can force place the statues of the Vishnu God, and with the uni of the Lakshmi, or the some statue of the Uma, the Shiva, why as well. So this temple is the oldest temple in the Angkor complex. So that it was built by the great king of the Cambodia named h a s a k w a r m a n first. That he came to build this temple in the 10 t h centuries in 921. That he built for dedicate to the Vishnu God, is the main god of the Hindus. So this temple is not big. You see them, it the one level on the ground with the five towers. It was built with the two kind of the stones. The first stone that we call sandstone. They used to build the doorways or statue of the lions, and with the p i r a m i d of the temple. But second stone that we use the brick that we call the solid brick is the good quality brick as well. So the our previous king that I mentioned uh, beginning already that mean most of the king in Cambodia before when they build the small temple or big temple before, it start from the seven to nine to ten century. Mostly they use the bricks and the lava stone to build a tower, a temple. But from the 10th century until to the 15th century, they stop use the brick and lava stone anymore. They mostly they use the sandstone with the good quality stone. The water came from the Kulin Mountain. That northeast of the Siem Reap is about the 60 kilometers to here. They transported by the elephant with the bamboo raft. So that this this temple is the charming. You see them. The during of the afternoon they start from 4 to 5 o'clock. When the sun rests to the behind, to the jungle, or behind to the west side, and then you can see the sun reflection to the tower, and then it make of the tower became to the gold colors. So right now, let's see with me to inside. After we finish the Krawan Temple, so right now we keep going to visit the one more temple that we call the Prasad b a c h u n That located at the north of this temple is about one kilometers. This temple is not the Buddhist temple; it's the Hindu temple that it was built in the middle of the 10th centuries. That built for dedicate to the Shiva gods. It's the main god of the Hindus, 
and this temple it consists of the three towers. The first tower in the middle, built or dedicated to the Shiva God, and North Tower dedicated to the Prama God, South Tower dedicated to the Vishnu God. And this temple is stood on the one level on the grounds. It made by the two three kinds of the stones. The first they used the brick, second they used the lava stone for the build the foundation. And the third one, they use the sandstone, very good quality stone to build this temple. But this temple right now is the poor condition. No one to take care of this temple. Just the, a few years ago, Apsara Akshuruti had been rebuilt this temple. And then on the top, you can see the scaffolding to support and the towers and the tin here. It is the east gate of the temple that right now is a quiet temple. So right now we are crossing to the village, we would like to visit the one more temple, to the small temple in the middle of the village that we call Srasrang, it's nearby the village here, so let's see what it means. Hi, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen. So after I finished the two temple, Batjom and Kravan temple, I came to visit this temple. That this temple, the small temple in the middle of the lake. That this area we call the Srah Srang. Srah is mean pond. Srang mean take a bus. They mean take a royal a royal bus of the king here. That this one is a start from the west side over there, you see that? The start from west side to the east side. It about the 800 meter long and it start from the south part to the north side and over there is about the uh, 400 meter wide so that in the rainy season the water rests up until to the two three meter deep that is temple the middle of the lake you see them that the middle of the lake that just the finish a rebuild by the Apsara Akuruti that before we call the chapel of the Hospital of the King Jayavaraman the Seven, that he always come from the temple, the inside of the jungle that we call up one days over there, and then he come to take a bath or come to a meditation inside this temple for three months, that we call the beginning of the Buddhist lands. So right now it's not original that this temple it the um, is the poor condition it was collapsed. That during for a few years ago, the Apsara security they come to excavate it inside. They found the, a lot of statues there, and then they can find the tero in the middle of the a foundation of this temple. And the, right now, the body came to place at Angkor Conservation already. And then right now, still have the tower that is made by the uh, a sandstone and with the lava stone. But the uh, some of the stone is original that. Uh, uh, bury inside the muddy or inside the uh, uh, water here. So right now they finish. They uh, they not allow the people to go inside, but it's just water here. So they finish. So uh, today I would like to show all of you about this temple. That is a small temple that uh, in the rainy season we call a floating temple. Interesting, ladies and gentlemen.
it's now we finished the taking the picture. Now we're gonna go back. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.